Welcome, Charlie on a Friday. How are we doing? Can I be Miles on a Monday? Absolutely. I feel like it has a bit of a similar ring to it. Yeah. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll leave that to you. Welcome to iHeartRadio Canada. Thank you so much. Congratulations on everything that's been happening for you lately. I feel like it's all happened so fast, like since... Yeah. I mean, I don't want to go down the whole pandemic road, but that's where it kind of all began for you, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so talk me through it. How's it been so far? It's been good. I've been having a lot of fun. been taking my friends everywhere with me. We're having a good time. Yeah. yeah. You got the uh, the vlog squad with you here? You got, you're filming everything? Got my boy Max. Yeah. He's always here. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah. Tell me about that, first of all, because you've been, you've been doing that to keep you a little bit busy. Haven't you recently, like, filming and vlogging and doing, like, a bit of a series? Yeah, we got the On a Friday series. Um very fun to make i used to make youtube videos when i was younger so okay. it kind of keeps that alive okay yeah so how did you get from making videos to making songs um i started making music in eighth grade in my friend's basement yeah i think it was i don't know i still i still made videos yeah i started making music in eighth grade and i fell in love with it and yeah. i was obsessed with it and yeah was it like making beats first or, or writing lyrics first? Which came first? Um, so my friend's older brother made the beats and I would just kind of hop on them at first. But okay. I've experimented a little bit with making beats. Okay, so what kind of like time frame are we talking about? When was this? Um, I was in eighth grade, so I guess, I don't know, maybe like 10, eight years ago? Maybe? Eight years ago? Yeah, I think Okay, so. cool. So who were some of your biggest influences other than... This guy in the basement. <laughs> um, yeah, I loved Macklemore. I loved Post Malone. I loved Justin Bieber, Lil Uzi Vert, yeah. Young Thug. Yeah. A widespread. Yeah. But yeah. Okay, cool. So uh, have you seen any of those guys live before? Like, are you a big concert goer? Yeah, I've seen I've seen Macklemore live. Um, that's it, though. Yeah? Yeah. Because I feel like when you start making music... I mean, do you think that far ahead to the whole performance aspect of it, the music video aspect? you got some pretty cool music videos already Thank you. as well. I didn't at first. I think as I started doing more shows, the thought definitely crossed my line of like, what does this look like live? Yeah. So I definitely think about that more now okay. than I did before. Yeah. And you'd be doing yeah. like a college tour as well? Yeah. How's that, that been? That, that sounds fun. messy, but fun. It was very <laughs> messy. Um, it was different. I think that... There is something special, however, about going into a frat basement and being like, is this stage going to fall apart? <laughs> What's going to happen? Am I going to get sick? Yeah. And all of those things are true. We did have stage yeah. stages fall apart, but I don't know. There's something special about it, and I think it ties really well to our brand. And, yeah. Um, yeah, it was a good time. So that was your college experience, because I take it you, you haven't been to college. I did not go to college, no. Wow. But, Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. It looks like I would have had fun. Yeah. I guess yeah. That you got your experience a different way. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely not the norm. So your beer pong game must be pretty good by now. Yeah. I'm all right. <laughs> yeah. You're pretty good. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about the, the song from last year enough mm -hmm. um, and, and how that came to be. Did That started out as just like a, was that like a rough draft on your phone or something? And then you, you decided to release it? Yeah. We only had about 30 seconds of it done. And me and my friend Max, actually, he's sitting behind the camera, but we were driving down to LA from Seattle um, and we were like, let's make this TikTok. And we found enough in my notes and people liked it. I guess. Yeah. So, yeah. But before that, you had a, a bit of an online following because mm -hmm. uh, one of your songs went viral on Fortnite or, or like an, on a montage um, video of Fortnite. So when I was younger, I had a song go viral on Fortnite, um, but I had the following uh, over a song called After Hours. Okay. Yeah. Which I made when I was 17. Nice. And then the, uh, the, the song that you've recently released earlier this year, That's What I Get, mm -hmm. um, as, uh, as kind of like, it just... I love how the, especially the music video that you just kind of led straight from enough and it, and it kind of just, yeah. it was in sync and it just kind of led straight from that moment. So like Absolutely. even with the, as far as with you listening to the song in the car at the beginning yeah. and then just turning it down. Yeah. You get sick of hearing it in the car or something? <laughs> um, no, I think it was like, let's close this chapter out. Let's start a new one. Yeah. But I always like it to be kind of an ongoing story. Yeah. So yeah, I feel like it was kind of the part two. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. So you're, you're into like storytelling then. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, cool. For sure. Um, the car in that in that video, by the way, and it's on the the artwork as well. Yeah. That, is that your car? It's not. That's a great car. I wish it was my car. That's an amazing car. The Jeep Gladiator. It's yeah. very cool. In yeah. blue. 
Yeah, it's blue. Uh, who's the girl in the video? Is that a friend or just? Um, her name's Sadie. Okay. She uh, she does TikTok and stuff, and yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, are you more of a TikTok guy or a YouTube guy? Like, are you more like short form or long form? Just I like YouTube for watching, not creating. Yeah. I like YouTube. Yeah. I was obsessed with YouTube growing up as a kid. Like every stage of YouTube. Um, I'm still a big fan. Uh, yeah. Who do you who do you watch? Like who you subscribe to? I love I love David Dobrik. I don't know if he still does the vlogs anymore, but I watched him a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, I was always a big Casey Neistat guy. Yeah, he's he's fire. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It was. I feel like there's not a lot of YouTube creators. Mr. Beast li- like that. Yeah, Mr. Beast is yeah. dope. Yeah, he's insane. Some of those ideas are just like I know. How did you even? I know he really goes all out. Yeah, yeah. he's got like a whole team of, of people doing that behind it. But yeah, which is cool. Uh, let's talk about who you've been teaming up with recently, Macklemore. And yeah. you mentioned him before because you've been to one of his concerts already. Mm-hmm. Uh, you were nine years old when thrift shop came out yeah you didn't tell him that did you that's probably going to freak him out yeah i've not told him that no. uh, but you're going to be going on tour with him and you have yep. the song with him on his album ben i know yep how did that all come together who reached out to who first and so my engineer jordan was also his engineer and um i reached out to jordan when i was a senior in high school still okay and i was running over to the studio after football practice and recording with him and I think he just told Ben, like, yo, there's this kid, Charlie, and I think he's fire. And that's kind of how we linked up, through Jordan. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, and so when did you record that song, I Know? How long ago was that? That was probably a year ago, Okay. I believe. Yeah, must yeah. be great, like, a great feeling now it's out. Yeah, absolutely. And you're going to be going on tour with Macklemore as well. Is that mm-hmm. in Europe or where is that? Yeah, it's in Europe. Amazing. Yeah. All right. Well, say hi to my friends when, when you're over in the UK. Absolutely. <laughs> um, uh, well, what is he like, like to work with? He's amazing. He's um, very inspirational. He's done a lot of things, and um, I've always looked up to him as a kid. I was like a kid in my room. I, I remember watching his complex sneaker video, yeah. like 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 the sneaker shopping yeah, video. Yeah, yeah. And I would so the sneaker store that they recorded that in. It's called Recess. I don't think it's there anymore, but um, it's in Seattle. And I used to walk down to the store and I would pick up all the same shoes that he picked up in the video be like, oh, wow. and I was like yo he touched this <laughs> shoe and I thought it was crazy so yeah. the value um, of every shoe he touched went up <laughs> yeah yeah and so yeah it's a super full circle moment and I'm very excited would you do sneaker shopping if you were asked to go on there and yeah it? for yeah. sure yeah I was a big sneaker head when I was younger oh yeah for sure I think now I kind of just stick to the air forces um, is that like a favorite like just a go-to yeah yeah you have to clean it's all white shoe yeah yeah are you into Jordan's not as much anymore. I like Jordan 1s. Yeah. I still be rocking those. But when I was a kid, I definitely obsessed over all Jordans. Of course. Yeah. Right? Just yeah. that silhouette. Well, listen, congratulations on everything you've been up to so far. And Thank you. Uh, thanks for stopping by iHeartRadio Canada. And best of luck with, with the tour. Of, uh, Thank with you Macklemore so much. And, and thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Charlie on a Friday. Thank you.